Okay, I've been talking to myself this whole time. Didn't realize I wasn't live. Okay, so I got up this morning. I'm still feeling kind of, mm, got some junk in my chest. I'm going to use my nebulizer and, and get myself going good. But <clears throat> So I got up this morning, and for those of you who watch The Psychic, I'm usually not into that, but I also realize that there are people that is. So, Psychic Mare, I'd watched her, and she had said, stay away from that site at least 24 hours, and this is the game, and where the car was, the bodies would end up back up there. So, I got up this morning, and that was on my mind. So, I loaded my vehicle, and I said, okay, before I leave here, because I will be back. There's no doubt I, I will be back. And hopefully it's for good news. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm, I still have hope. Anyway, so before I left there today, I told myself I'm going to go and see exactly what I can do to make sure that I've covered everything that I can possibly cover before I leave here. So I went back where the car was. And... It was still the same. I mean, there was no bodies there. So the psychic wasn't right on that one, which I'm glad. I went back to the four corners, checked it out. And then I I decided to drive to Boise City because that's where I'd been when I saw all the OSBI. You know, they were running around that town like crazy. And it, if you're from around there, that was about a 40-minute drive, but it was worth it to me because I just wanted to go see if there was still action going on over there because I wasn't never sure exactly what the action was that was going on over there. <clears throat> I never saw one OSBI at all today. Now, I will tell you that over by Guyman, I did watch four helicopters. I, I mean, I know that four helicopters landed and they had a lot of mm, people on them that was geared up suburbans picked them up where they went from there i'm not sure when that happened i also got a phone call and from one of our viewers here and that person said they were on their way to, actually it was a text sorry i've been driving so i got to get my mind straight here it was a text and it said we are in May, Oklahoma, headed to Oklahoma City, and we just passed several suburbans hauling butt your way. So, with that said, <clears throat> I'm hoping that that's maybe ATF headed that way, and maybe they're going to go check that compound, or whatever you want to call it down there. And, and find out what is, is really going on down south there. <clears throat> All roads for me, in my opinion, let me get this out there. This is a YouTube channel. Um, I got to say it's for entertainment purposes because that's just how they do it. But I'm here for you, and I'm going to stay here for you. Whether it be from Wichita, whether it be from like, the Ozarks, if I have to run to my house there, wherever I'm at, I'm, I'm still going to be here for and I do got people still boots on the ground there that are feeding me information that's going to keep me up to date. And I'll tell you in a heartbeat, if I see anything that I can help you with, I'm going to be straight back there. And what I was saying before, um, I, I literally just got home so and, and had a little quick meeting with the team. I don't like to call them my mods because... They are the team. Everybody with the wrench here, most of them's been with me a long time. Most of most like everyone's my friend, my family, and I talk to them. And we want to stay on the case. We want to stay to help you, and we want you to have a place where you can actually come in and talk, ask questions. I can write things down. As a matter of fact, I need to find a pen and paper because I, I just wanted to get on here. There was a little bit of road construction and 
seems since I was gone all these days, they decided to close the main highway, so it really took me a different way. Well, I wanted to get on here. I don't know if you're like me, but I enjoy talking. I enjoy seeing how people's days are. And also, I want to make sure that everybody has a chance to get out here and and get out how you're feeling. If you've heard something or if there's something you want me to look at, I want you to be able to be able to come on here and tell me. I do want to put that phone number in again. And I know, listen, Bradley Hoffman, he might have went to bed. Great guy. I know many of you was worried, you know, trying to make sure I made it home. Yes, definitely home. Trying to figure out this this phone number so I can put it up here so that you got those of you that's new. If you want to text me, you can. Or if you just need somebody to talk to you about what's going on. If you if you can't talk in here. Hmm, for some reason I didn't go through. I'll I'll find the phone number. I'm looking. Let's see here. Broadcast updates. Yeah. The updates that I had is I went to every place that I went before. Backtracking to make sure that I'd covered everything. And I didn't. I wasn't leaving there with anybody hanging. I did drive by the Prairie, Prairie View School today. It didn't look. And then that part didn't look like a compound. Of course, nobody was there. Um, I obviously did not go by the area where the butcher and the hogs and the boyfriend live because that's just not an area I, I would go. That bridge that I wanted to go to by Granny's house, I did go by that. The one that I asked last night if there was any men that was willing to go to, to that for, with me. And that was one of them things that uh, Wrangler's grandma had asked me to check out. And it was something that she really wanted checked out. And there was a couple places that she really wanted to check out. And when I say Wrangler's grandma, I'm talking about his dad's mom. So I definitely made sure I went and did that. Let's see here. It's good to see you too, Joanne. Absolutely. Well, last night I was pissed. I'm glad I changed my name back to... I was pissed. I felt... I don't know. I just really wanted to bring these women home. I did not want to come home until I brought them home. And I still haven't given up. Like, I, I really feel like they can... There's things that they can do, you know. And hopefully, I hope they're still alive. I really hope they're down there where the boyfriend's house are and that they're safe. You know, I've got, I've got grandkids. <laughs> I got 11 grandkids, you know. These six kids are without their moms right now. And the fiance, all the family, the husband, the friends, the church friends. I mean, I really met a lot of great people. Oh, Joanne, you've been checking all day. I've been driving, and it's really hard to drive, especially at night for me, because April 17th, I'm having cataract surgery. So, anyway, when I drive, it just seems like at night, I, it's like these big old fireballs are headed towards my eyes. So there's no way I could have did it live and drove. Yes, I'm good to be home. I'm glad to be home. Smith & Wesson's glad. My husband actually unloaded the car and said, when are you leaving again? <laughs> so, <laughs> but you got to know him. He was a joke. Maybe it was. I don't know. No, it was a joke. Let's see here. Yes, thank you, Mama's house. Yeah, I need to start. I need to put these up here. Listen, I'm back to my laptop. It's like I haven't been on this Mac Air in so long. 
I mean, the major highway that I, I travel, they had shut down while I was been gone. So trying to make the trip home was a little different. Think I'll drop the stream for any of the the locals there that if you want to come up and talk or like I said, either one. I'll be up here by myself, I don't care. But I want to give you a chance if there is something that you want to come up and say. It would be fine. Let's see here. I'm gonna find that doggone this cell phone number for you. Again, if you're a local down there and and you're using your real name, I highly suggest you change it. <coughs> YouTube can be pretty rough. As that said, make sure you're not sitting here on your real name. It don't seem like, I mean, News Nation's still putting the same thing. The video that they did the other day was the same one they did tonight. Got breaking news. FBI getting involved. Yeah, we heard that a lot. Mama's house. You know, I, I do feel like that. You did all you could do and you need to be glad you made made it be good for you to sleep in your own bed. Yeah. I will call my doctor, I promise I will. And listen, I, I met some wonderful people. Like some wonderful people that I, I I intend to stay friends with, you know. Um, I hate the circumstances that I had to meet them under, but I tend on staying friends with you guys, and and I intend on following this case all the way through the best I can, and getting you as much information as I can. And oh, me too. Been checking all day. So glad you made it. Good for you to sleep in your own bed. Yep. Yeah, I knew you guys would, as a matter of fact, I was talking to the team. I said, we ought to go live now. I mean, I don't know who's up, who's not up. Let's get on there and, and at least let them know that we still stand by you. We still want to bring these women home. That's our thing. That was our goal to begin with, and that goal has not changed at all. My bones tell me that this is so sticky for Ellie. They have to navigate folks that are heavily armed and dangerous. You know, I can't shake that feeling either, but I am going to tell you, I'm I'm not going to quit calling it a compound. I'm not going to quit saying that you better be prepared as far as LE. It, it could be a situation like Waco. Let's, let's do it different. And I'll also say, shut it down while you can before it gets too big. And I'm not on here to scare you. I lost a lot of friends that was ATF agents in Waco. At that time, I was married to a U.S. Marshal, and he had to go down there. I just I remember everything about that, that whole situation. And if you look up on the FBI website, Sovereign Citizen, then they've got several articles about it. Go read it. There's nothing good about that. Let's see here. You've been amazing, all of this team. You shook it up. Get rested. Get well. We did shake it up, didn't we, Janet? Like, uh, we stirred the pot. That's for sure. Made some people unhappy. But we made a lot of people happy. But I, I, don't, I don't care about the people I made unhappy. I was there to find two women. I was there to get hurt out. You would not believe how many people... Did not know that there was two women missing from Kansas and Oklahoma. It was a lot. I'm in your neck of the woods. If you need anything, let me know. Like in like Wichita, Shelly? You're, you're in this area? Is that what you're saying? 
Okay, hold on. Let me enjoy and I see your comment, but listen, I'm so used to my phone now. Tell more about the helicopters. There was four of them. Two of them was Bell helicopters. I just know that there was, I would say ATF. Like, that's just what I'm going to say. It's what it looked like. But it looked like tactical, tactical people on them helicopters that was getting off and getting into the cars. To the SUVs. Where they were going, I don't know. And then they had more coming from Oklahoma City at a fast pace. I think I know where they're going. But I could have been wrong. I mean, maybe something else was happening in Oklahoma that I didn't know about. You know what I mean? I'm only assuming, and I know they say you should never assume it makes an ass out of you and me, but maybe it's because I really hope that's what they're doing. Let's see here. Yes, crimes and theories. You're off to bed, but saw your live, missed your lives today. Yeah, I, I just didn't have time to go live and I wanted to I wanted to make sure that when I left there that I'd covered everything that I felt like I could cover before I left there. So I didn't leave there till like five thirty. And then I <clears throat> somebody had loaned me a computer, a laptop, and I had to go return that. And I visited it with them for like an hour, hour and a half. I don't remember how long. It was a great visit. So my drive back was night. So we will be live. We're, I think we'll try to go live every day for just a little bit. We're, we're not going to do real long shows. Because there's just not a lot of breaking news. But I want a place for the locals there to still come. Still be able to talk and visit and if, if you've got some concerns or you've seen something you know i i agree i think there's a lot involved i know at least three where the car was oh that was the other thing you know these eyewitnesses that seen what happened seem to not be it's not being followed up with le if i talked to one today I mean, they took a statement, but they've never followed back up on that statement to talk to him. The one in the box truck, they've never talked to. So, I really don't know what they're doing investigative wives. I assume L.A. knows what they're doing, so. And as everybody knows, I'm a big law enforcement supporter. But I want to see them do it right. And hopefully bring these women home. Yeah, Joanna, I'll go to my community page and put a picture of it. Actually, hmm, can I drop a picture of it right now? Hmm. I don't know how to do that. Well, I was going to try to drop it in there. But I do have a picture of the of two of the helicopters. Huh. Don't want to get in anybody's way. Yeah, when they're when they're if the, if they are. Oh yes, ma'am, in the Wichita area. Yeah, definitely. I'm here a lot. I'm at Lake Ozarks a lot. I'm in Colorado a lot. And I'm in Yukon, Oklahoma a lot. So. It'd be awesome. Go have lunch or something. How about that? I wish I had more to bring you. Like. I, just, I think we got to wait. Yeah. Prudence, like, the helicopters landed. These guys rushed off, but, you know, when they landed, they rushed out. And, and got in SUVs, and then I get the text that somebody's in May, Oklahoma, headed to Oklahoma City. And there's a bunch more headed. But these were a lot. And they looked like they had a lot of tactical gear. 
So for those that say, oh, it's probably FBI, well, FBI don't carry all that gear. FBI usually does like money, finances, money laundering type of stuff, digital stuff. There's just a lot. Let's see. Hey, do people in chat, man. Yes, you guys are great. I, again, I just always want you guys to know that we're, we're not going to leave you. We're not going to leave you hanging. We still love our undersheriff there. Great guy. I made sure I said, you know, it's, it's never goodbye. Let's see you later. And I hope to come back on better circumstances. Hope to, hope to come back to some live women, you know, that they found them and they were alive and and things are good. We still got to keep that pressure on, even if I got to keep that pressure on here. You know, I was thinking on my way home, I have a house in Oklahoma. I can raise some cane. I pay taxes. Then I, you know, these women are from Kansas. I know a couple of lobbyists that's up in the, in the Capitol. You know, maybe, maybe I can ruffle some feathers here and get our government to put some pressure on Oklahoma's government. I don't know. It's for the shot. Governor Kelly is, is our governor. Maybe we can, I'm going to do what I can. I just felt like. I was done there as far as boots on the ground as to where I could go. And I followed every lead that I was given. So I made sure that I followed every lead that I was given. And got there. So. You're welcome, Joanne. And I. Oh, what I was saying earlier. You know, when you have. When you have a channel that's spending their time and and listening to you and giving you information, and then that channel just disappears, I'm not that girl. Like we're and and, my, and the team is not that team. They're gonna make sure they stick with you too. Like we're all a team. Even you in the chat, you are part of the team. Sorry, I shut the door and I'm going to have to open it because Smith and Weston, they, they do not like being shut out. I know, but you can't whine, boys. Okay, so, fire trucks, city police, county police, SUVs, but what was reported was a wreck out at Daniel's Curve. Oh, well, I mean, that that's probably true. They're probably, if they got a fire truck and all that. I'm, the st I'm telling you, the st stuff I've seen today, that's that's not your everyday law enforcement. That's for sure. Okay. Rock Chalk, I'd say the helicopters are breaking news. Yeah, definitely. News Nation, they just keep going over the same old crap. They really do. You know, if... I'm sure I got family members on here that's in the back paying attention. You know, maybe we could start something or somebody could start something. And I'm not really into GoFundMe's. But if, if somebody set something up at the, like, at the bank or something, I, I really think you should get an attorney's, like, I think an attorney could help you a lot. With getting information. But that would be my opinion. Maybe one night we can get Melanie to come here. I'll go over there. I have no problem going there. But uh, Attorney Melanie Little. Like I love the lady. She's got good advice. And uh, if you don't follow her you should. She's really good. We're in Colorado. Well, I have a house in Aurora, 
my doctor is in Colorado Springs, so I spend a lot of time in Colorado Springs, too. And Denver. All of Colorado, <laughs> I would say. Yeah, I will say this. They called me so many times yesterday, today. And I'm not your girl to go on TV and tell that I'm just out there searching and I'm finding nothing. So, so that was my choice not to go on there. Plus, they just keep repeat, repeating the same stuff. And yeah, I'm not down for that. Belly, for sure. We'll get together. I agree. It was in a field, Joanne, outside of uh, Guyman. It was in a field. You could see it was grassy and everything. It was definitely a field. I was going to try to change my icon to the picture, but I don't think I don't think my phone is downloaded to my. I have an iPhone. I don't think it's downloaded to my computer yet. Is what the issue is, and I don't want to end the live. To get the live back up just to do the picture. But I'll, I'll I'll post the picture in the community page. That'll be easier. Always love seeing Heather Fitzgerald too. I don't know. Heather, I really don't think it's Secret Service. I think they got that compound down there. Wait a minute. FBI usually be working with Secret Service. No, I don't think so. Secret Service, because I have a good friend. His name's Jim Tyler, and believe it or not, it was Bill Clinton's Secret Service. And Secret Service is not going to come do financial stuff. Secret Service, they cover the, the presidents. So I, I don't know why FBI would be working with Secret Service in this situation. Uh, I'm going to say it all over again. Like They look like a tactical unit to me. And I hope they are. I hope they're going down there to this to the little compound they got that maybe ain't so little. I can't say tell you firsthand what it looks like because I I'm not going that close. That's way out of my range. Let's see here, Shelly Walsh. Let's all get together at Veronica's Shaken Tea House when she's found safe. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm down for that. Oh, I should have changed. And that's what I was doing, dark dog on it. I don't know why the thumbnail said we the people. Because I was trying to click on the pictures I took out in front of her shop. Veronica's got a really nice looking shop there. I'd like to go there and have a smoothie. I'm I'm down for it. And hopefully Veronica can make us that smoothie. Two people found dead in Friedman, Oklahoma, over by Woodward. Oh wow. You know, I wonder if that's what came across I have a cousin, Smith Whit. I have a cousin that is a teacher in Woodward and then another cousin that is a talk show or I don't know. He, he works at the radio station. He's a DJ, I guess you'd call him. That's sad. Woodward. Two men shot. Now you got me wanting to check it out because I have family there. I have to look that up when we get off here. That's horrible. Dang. Do we, do we know how old they were or what happened? I'm kind of curious. I have to Google that. Hopefully, the FBI is helping analyze every piece of digital information available on that church and compound, looking at every anyone associated with TA and TC. Yeah, I agree. And, I mean, maybe they could get... The FBI is the best at the digital. You know, maybe they can get all the way down to the phone pings and the exact times and all that. One thing I I find really weird... And it's going to change, but like the school, the Yarborough school, it's, it didn't have cameras. And, you know, I talked to the superintendent 
and he said that they've got they've been allocated money so they are going to put cameras in but listen cameras are cheap all of our properties have cameras like i can see what's happening at any given time i think everybody should have cameras and when, when you're not home you know what's going on yeah one one good thing if you would hit that thumbs up what it does is it keeps it in the algorithm and also especially since you're watching this channel when you go to your home page it should be the first thing that pop up i'm kind of curious does it pop up and did everybody i only gave you 10 minutes notification i get that sorry but did you get your notifications okay if you're not getting the notifications and you're on the rewatch watching this make sure you hit the like and subscribe subscribe when you subscribe hit that bell that way anytime i make a post or i'm going live you'll know and i can be a little more organized now that i'm back at my computer thank you for everything you've done you're welcome my pleasure like i wished i, I had really weird feelings last night uh, obviously as you guys knew um I, man my goal was to go bring the women home and i still have that goal but i just ran out of places to look i have a feeling this is just the beginning for you to get some rest not everyone yeah yeah i agree Let's see it's not a normal sight i get it yeah you know i i really kept thinking about the girl that come in here last night that tristan cook or whatever and about the whole butcher and i mean the fda came to inspect but he didn't do it for personal reasons and then he's private and he don't have to be inspected man i don't know when one of them cutting my meat, but hey, it's still on my mind. Yes, we do adore you, and we definitely adore our undersheriff too. I told him, I said, I don't care. I'm gonna be dropping your link every time I go live. You know, he could have wrote me that ticket. It would have been a big ticket. Um, he made sure that his deputies made sure I was safe and that they they rolled around where I was parked and where I slept. Like, he's an awesome guy. I would say he's a friend. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep in contact with him. Bell helicopter is in Amarillo, Texas. In Listen, Curly Sue, Sue, there was people that came off them helicopters. That wasn't a test. They got in the SUVs. They loaded up them SUVs. And then another viewer texted me and told me that they were in May, Oklahoma, headed to Oklahoma City and saw several Suburbans headed our way fast. So, I agree, Bell Helicopter might be from Amarillo, and they're doing test flights, but not today. And two of them was, two of them was Bell. The other two wasn't anything. And get this, when they do their test flights, they're usually on flight radar 24. And these helicopters was not on flight radar 24. So, usually when they're not on flight radar, they're government. They do love and protect me. When I love me some Smith and Wesson. Where did they go? Somebody went to eat. They're glad to be here too. Running around like crazy, crazy kids. I call them my crazy kids.
Yeah, man, I wish I could put it up as my as my photo up there. But it's on my phone. I know how to do that. Let's see here. Yeah, I can't figure out how to load it. I'm still I'm still learning StreamYard a lot. I learned how to pay two hundred forty dollars. <laughs> so hopefully that gets me a lot. Hopefully I'll learn how to do it much better. Good to hear your voice again, Rock. Well, good to see you, Margaret. Absolutely. Yes, best mods. And and the thing about the mods here, it's their channel too. This is absolutely 100% everybody with the rinses and my channel. We're all together. Listen, I agree. Now, I will tell you, Dan and Natalie, um, Natalia, like, they were awesome. She's always in our chat. It's really late, so I can see why she's not here, but them two. I spent with I spent time with them last week. They're the ones I, I went and got pizza. I really really liked both of them. I liked the producer Dan. I liked the reporter Nelly. Like, but the rest of them, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree. Like, I'd like to help the family out all I could. I I want to re mention, you know. To the wonderful people of Hugoton, you know, they're really, the other churches are stepping up and really trying to help Jillian's family too, and all the families, and they, they're doing um, meal trains, and I know uh, Jillian's husband had family members coming in, and they were trying to help with the, this is Melanie's channel, this is how I found out about what was going on in Oklahoma. I didn't hear it from my local news. My local news, crazy enough, five and a half hours away, my local news is your local news, it seems like. I end up pretty crazy. But ne Melanie's really good with documents. She's good. She's just good with everything. If, you, if you're not following her, she's a good one to follow, and she can explain all the court documents, and and really help you out there. <laughs> we are so appreciative of everything you've done and continue to do. Much love and respect, Rock. Thank you, Joanne. I do do my best. <clears throat> Try to treat everybody the way I want to be treated. And I'm telling you what, if this was a family member of mine or even a friend, <clears throat> I would want somebody like me to come along and try to help. I would want somebody like me to come along and shake things up. And I think we shook things up. Started seeing the active active um, police in the area, like the second day I was there. I think it helped. Let's see here. Yes. Let's see here. Rock chalk. I'm heartened to know your home's safe. Thank you. That's good news. I'm personally hoping that they are okay. I'm in the grant and just trying to get to the court case before they are let go. Yeah. I, I'm still hoping and praying that these women are still alive. You know, I know I said this last night, but April 17th is the day that they were supposed to go to court. You know, Veronica had just filed, I love you too, Heather. Veronica had just filed 10 days before that Saturday to get sole custody of the kids. And I'm sure that pissed Granny off. So when I hear, when I hear that people try to pawn this off as like trafficking and stuff like that, it drives me crazy. Crazy. Because I firmly believe this was targeted. Definitely believe it was targeted. Listen, I've seen some pretty hairy divorce cases with kids, and I 
there's, there's just no way that. What do you mean secrets? Uh, I'm sorry. Why do you mean Secret Service does money? FBI does money. Secret Service. What Secret Service does is they protect like your presidents. Like I mean, I'll look it up, but I mean every Secret Service person I've ever known. Like they guard the president and the vice president and people like that. But hey, you could be right. I would have to look it up and see. I'm going to do that right now just because I want to make sure that I'm not giving folks the information. While I'm waiting, waiting for that to come, I'm going to make sure I'm getting everything. It's definitely, I think it was ATF. I hope so. I really hope so. I think that's about the only agency that's going to be able to handle that situation down there. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, I've got that poster. I just haven't had time to put it up. I'll definitely get that up. Let's see here. Secret Service, special agents focusing on protecting top U.S. officials and visiting foreign officials and are investigating, yeah, it says and investigating financial crimes, but this ain't a financial crime. Is it? I mean, did I miss something, I think? I don't know. Our uninformed division officer's mission is to protect facilities and venues secured for Secret Service protectees. The main job of the Secret Service. Today, the Secret Service mission is twofold. Protection of the President, Vice President, and others, and investigation into crimes against the financial in infrastructure of the United States. I mean, I would say, like, do they, they maybe investigate maybe the FBI? I don't know. I don't know why the FBI usually does financial. The Secret Service usually does the other. But anyway, it sounds like you could be possibly right too. I learned something. Mail fraud. Mm. I just never knew of Secret Service to be doing that. But hey, I haven't looked up Secret Service in a while. No, they, they, they wasn't in the Four Corners area. They landed over by Guyman in the field. I was at the Four Corners. If he was at the Four Corners, I was at the Four Corners for a while today. That's what kind of vehicle my son seen leaving Boise City earlier. Like Suburbans? I was... <clears throat> I was in Boise today. I was actually at the Dollar General. I stopped there and I bought some ice. And then I went to the Loves across the street and got me, actually got something to eat today. Some little chicken or steak cheese rolled up thing that they had in there. I was Cleveland has had its third body worship. Really? Wow, I hadn't heard that. Well, I've been so focused on this that I, I'm usually into the Idaho 4 case that I didn't even sit down and, and watch the, uh, the hearing. And, and usually I'm like right on it to watch it. See here. OSBI was called in a long time ago to work the case. I like they were on it from the get go. It seemed like to me, unless I was understanding wrong. 
female secret service once came to the door because my dad, who had cash business and some counterfeit, found in his deposit. Mm, wow. Well, I learned something new then. I know my friends that's worked in secret service, like they've guarded presidents and ex-presidents. I mean, that's their job usually. Usually, that's like their main job. Because you know every former president still gets secret service for the rest of their life. So if you're president of the United States or vice president, you get secret service for the rest of your life. I'll have to look that up on the work. Woodward paperwork online. Thank you. Rock Chalk. Probably that's what they are like. Most people of the Waco era. Remember that. Your powers that won't be let. That happen again. Oh gosh. I hope so. Hope we're right. Hopefully they just take care of it. Listen. One thing that happened with the Waco thing. They just let it get too big. And. And you say, are they breaking the law? You know, that's what I would say. What are they doing wrong that that you would give you the right to go in there? Well, there's obviously people that live there and that are felons. And we've seen pictures of their, I know I have seen pictures of their weapons. So that would be a reason to go in there. I do want to drop the link again, just in case somebody was late and it's a local and they want to talk. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure that everybody has the opportunity in case they do. Especially the locals. And definitely, if you hear something, keep me updated. Or if I need to come back, said I haven't left you stranded at all. Wow. Am I the only person that thinks the world has kind of gone crazy? <laughs> you, you live here now? <laughs> That's funny, I think. See if I got any questions here. I'm 11 p.m. Hmm. Anyway, I didn't get my get alert, but my refreshed YouTube showed you live. Woohoo! Well, I will tell you, I thought it was too late to really go live, but then we were talking about it, and I know how when I'm really following the case. And I miss a day and somebody don't go live about it. it drives me insane and I don't sleep very well. So we're going to try to make sure that we go live at least for a little bit every day and give the locals time to talk. If I have something new to tell you. It's just crazy. Seems like every day when I think the world's going to settle down a little bit, it gets crazier. Another reason why you should always pay attention to your surroundings, have cameras. You know, I don't know what the grasslands or the Black Mesa, I know what the Black Top is. But we searched a lot. I mean, Searched around where the car was, all the way up to the first first couple of days we had horses there, and they rode all the way up to Four Corners. They rode past Four Corners all the way out there. That's where we found the shorts. That's where we found that black glove with blood on it. I tried to search, not being from there. Tried to search in the areas where we knew that these women were going. <clears throat> Again, all but over my boyfriend's place. Or 
talk to you like out breaking the law. Uh, I don't think it was out breaking the law, but maybe breaking bad. How about that? Breaking bad. Thank you. I'm glad to be home safe. Like I said, you brought so much attention to the missing moms. You're special. I'm going to keep bringing attention to it. Like, I'm not going to let it go. The team is not going to let it go. We're going to keep on it and do the best we can and make sure that we keep it in, in front and center. Oh, I was miss I miss you too. Missing and listening to your last live and it snapped me to this live. Takes me off at first and realized it was you going live and my heart started racing with excitement. I wish I would have had more news for you, but again, we're gonna keep this going. We're gonna I, I did tell attorney Melanie Little, talked to her yesterday. She said, Rock, when you get home and you get settled and get to feeling better. Let's do it live again. So I'm going to take her up on that and and do that live. But again, if you if you haven't subscribed to Melanie, she's wonderful. She goes over all the court documents. If you have not seen the court documents in this case, go to Melanie Little and go watch her shows. And then we'll, she will go over every court document that she, I think she's got them all. I can't say much. I'm. I can't say enough how much I really like Melanie. Did they change Cleveland Indians to Cleveland Guardians? Yeah. Changing all these names for because they think they're disrespectful. You know, they keep wanting to change the Kansas City Chiefs names too. Hey, ladies in chat. I'm way late, but wanted to come in and say hello and send some love. Hope your lassie are doing great. Thank you, Nikki. Uh -huh. Definitely appreciate it. Yes, maybe the murders in Friedman, Oklahoma, the OSBI requested help. Friedman, Oklahoma. Yes, maybe the murders in Friedman, Oklahoma, the OSBI. Was requested to help. Is that a, another case that's going on at the same time as these missing women? Is it in the panhandle there too? Because why would they land in Guyman? I mean, I, I'm not from that area, and all I know is what I drove in the area. So if you have more information on that, I'd love to read it. You've already done so much and made so many people aware of a bad situation. Also, because of you, the ladies have so many prayers, have so many prayers going for, on for them. You've shown so much character. Thank you, Texas Lady, Jay Hawker, and Daisy and Grandma, or GR. I appreciate that. Like, I, I try to do my best. That's the best I can do. And at one point, actually several points, I felt like, Man, I just had more to give. A stink bug, yeah. I don't like stink bugs. I don't like June bugs, but you know what I really don't like? Moss. I cannot stand moss. They like to, I know several people, believe it or not, that moss, lot, moss like to fly in your ears. If I see a moth in the house, you ask my husband. If I'm going to bed, I'll put something over my ears because there is no moths going to get in my ear, ever. You did an amazing job, my lovely. I think if there is movement of any form of law, it's because you were all over the news at one point. Huh? That'll teach the main news to try and dumb down two missing moms. I agree, and I haven't given up, like seriously. Like. We are going to keep this in the news. The only reason I didn't go on News Nation is they, they just keep repeating the same thing. And I just don't feel like... I mean, what am I going to say? I'm out here searching for these women. I mean, that's been said. They're out there. My point was always... And, and it looked like Laura Engel did it. You know, it's go where the LE is and start asking questions because that's places that... 
I mean, I could go. They're not going to tell me nothing. They're going to be like, get the hell out of here. You know, a lot of people don't like YouTubers. I, I tried not to be that person that you didn't want to like. You know, I wanted to be that person that could help you. I wanted to be that person that you could go to. And most of all, I wanted to be that YouTube person that didn't want to take your money. That you could come here, you can say what you want to say, you feel free about what you want to do. And last night was just a little wild and we had a lot of lot of trolls in here. And I just was not in the mood for the trolls. And I know some of them went to another channel and complained that I kicked them. Well, sorry. I just, you, you handle so much. You, you, you hear so much and then you just get tired of, of bickering and listening. And, and I, I have to apologize. I bickered a little bit too much last night myself, but I was frustrated. I really want to see things change for you guys in that panhandle. I want to see these women come home. Like, I don't want to see these these people. If you, again, if you go to the FBI site and look up Silver Citizen, you will see that it's not a very good thing. No activity at Four Corners today. Of course, I could have missed it. I don't, I was at Four Corners today. Absolutely, I was at Four Corners today. But you're not going to see any activity there. We went there. <coughs> Excuse me, last Tuesday, and if you've seen Four Corners, there's a lot of junk on that corner. And I'm going to call it junk. You've got ran down trailer houses. You've got ran down uh, building. You, like, I've never seen so much. I will say this on the land there. I've never seen so much junk and broken down houses. Like, why are they not burned down? They're barely standing, they're catty corner, they're sideways, like, I've never seen anything like it. Lots of abandoned buildings. A lot of your credentials can't be verified. Please explain your background and your other people you have found. Well, why do I have to explain anything to you, Miss Vaughn and Skeeter Adventures? Can you tell me that? Because I'm going to be looking for your question. Why do I have to explain to you what my credentials are? I was just a person out there looking for people. Who are you? Where's your credentials? I'm, I'm, I really don't like to comment, if you want to know the truth. Why are you on my YouTube channel? But if you really want to know, I was a state investigator for 25 years. My grandpa was the attorney general. I was married to a U.S. Marshal of 33 years with the Marshal Service. And it's really none of your damn business what I do. So, you can see your way on out. And if you don't see your way out, I will find your way out for you. I don't like your comments. Since when do I have to have credentials for you? I don't. So, with that said, bye. Okay, that team you met day one, Rock Chalk, were so great. Yeah, they were people from the area. They they came and helped. Like, was I supposed to show them credentials when I'm going out volunteering my time, my gas? Like, who is, who is that person that was up there? I just don't get it. I hope they comment again because I'd like to who they are, know who they are and who they think they are. Okay. And we are going to continue on. Just waking up here. Glad to see you are okay. Thank you. And I did make it home okay. Rewinding to the beginning. I'm so invested in this case and hoping we hear some news from Ellie. Again, that I've said that all along. I just cannot believe that they have not... Releases any kind of statement. That's crazy for me. You think that Ada County 
and the county south of Leta are being flooded with coverage of Bill Thompson reading those polls. You know, I don't know, but we'll do we'll do another thing on I that's Idaho four. And right now we're doing the locals. I wanted to make sure the locals had a had time to talk from the uh, from the Kansas women missing in Oklahoma, Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. Okay, Prudence. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, we stirred up some shit. Hey, praise Sage. Much love. Home feels good. I haven't been home very long, but it feels good. Yeah, I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to rejuvenate. and Maybe we'll get some more going on and we can do some more searches. Much love to you, Pray Sage. Like, I'm so glad to have met you. We're going to be friends for life. I already know it. And the team loves you. Let's see here. What do you say on April 19th to a panel on Waco? Mm, yeah, that, I just don't want to scare people. That Waco is really, mm, that's a bad situation. I don't, I don't know that some of these people are ready for that. We can talk. We'll talk about how it's a great idea, Ashley. Yeah, I think they're doing. They do digital evidence, like, now this is just what I've heard, so take it for what it is. But you got a butcher down there that's doing so-called private work now. And then you had people on here saying that if he's making money, he has to let you, the USDA in there to, to do their uh, inspection. I mean, I, I find... A lot of time, FBI gets involved in money situations, like money laundering, okay? Where's where's people's money going? I mean, usually, they do a lot of that, too. We're going to continue to pray for Jillian Kelly and Veronica Butler. Pray that they're still alive and that they're found and brought home to the family. And we do need to have an Idaho 4 get together, Heather. I absolutely agree. You know, you know how I'm in Idaho 4, but these women has been at, at my soul front of my mind that I did not even sit down and I've not yet, I've yet, I haven't watched the court hearing from yesterday. I hear it's really good. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, she's such a kind soul and she did take good care of me. Like I said, we're going to be friends forever. I think that jackal and the black charger ties into it all somehow. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've said it before. Look up the sheriff of Cimarron. He's the ex-sheriff of Cimarron County. He drives a black charger. Yeah, he had some pretty hefty charges. And it's known by a lot of people, supposedly, he is part of the sovereign citizen, so it's crazy. Okay, why would I don't understand why Secret Service would come here when they got the FBI? I'm so confused on that. Their main reasons for Secret Service. Is to guard the president, vice president, and all that. It says at the very end that they could do digital forensics, but maybe that's to investigate the FBI. I mean, I don't really know. Look it up. I promise that I personally know that they've added to the roles. Okay. I'm going to believe you. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to believe you and agree. How about that? Because I don't know. I've always known them to do the other, so. We'll just go with it. Good day, Rock Chalk and Mods. Great to see you all. Rock, glad to see you got home safe. Thank you. 
My throat's feeling a little better, yeah. It's definitely feeling a little better. That dust, that dust from Sunday was a lot. Yeah, I'll look up stuff. I mean, I'm always glad to hear, like, listen, if I learn something from you, I love it. I don't claim to be the smartest person in the world. I don't think anybody's the smartest person in the world, so it'd be stupid for me to say that that I know everything, because I don't. I think only FBI was called in so far, right? You know, they've been saying breaking news on News Nation every day since last week that the FBI has been called in, so... I assumed that they had FBI here not too long after that happened. But I also assumed that I was coming down to help with the rescue and there would be law enforcement looking for these ladies. <coughs> Sorry, I had to take a drink. My throat was getting sore. But when there wasn't law enforcement looking, <coughs> it didn't stop me. Started doing it myself, and I started raising cane, and I and started going and talking to everybody I could, and looking at where I could. <coughs> do I still think they could be alive? I do, I do, and I I say that with a clear conscience. Like we don't have any reason to believe that they're not still alive. We have reason to believe that they could be down south. I mean, just think about it. You got a custody battle. You got a semi-cult situation going on. Or a full-fledged cult situation going on. I mean, what if... What if they never made it to the four corners? What if... They were... Got a phone call? I mean, that's where the digital would come in. But what if for some reason... The place was changed as to where the exchange was. <coughs> and she went to Granny's house. Or Granny's boyfriend's house. And, you know, they were abducted there or something. I don't know. I, I will keep saying until the police tell me otherwise. I think the car was staged. I don't think anything happened at that spot where the car was found. I agree, Eric. That's the way it goes. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's starting to get dry again. Okay, special case. Let's see. Okay, we're going to keep going. We're going to make sure that everybody's... Okay. Well, I don't think Secret Service is there. But it could be. Look up three percenters. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's another group. Well, that's what FBI does, too. FBI does financial crimes. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully they're doing... I'm just going to start skipping them because you guys, I believe you. So I'm going to leave it with that. Okay. They're investigating American citizens. Read three percenters that might make more sense. And yeah, maybe she's right. I've just. Never heard of it. Okay, you know what? I don't... I'm not even going to let that comment go. If you're going to come in here and start blaming that... This is your only warning. Man, you come in here and you start blaming the husbands. Well, for one, one is in rehab and he wasn't a husband. And the other one's a minister. I'm, I've not heard that, and I'm not going to allow that in here. 
somebody else might allow it. I won't. These families are grieving. Howdy, Mama Smith. I have a Mama Smith. She's a German Shepherd. I, my middle child has her. She had blue eyes, and my middle child just wanted her so bad, so I let her have her. Let's see here. In freedom, I should have said. Okay. Uh, listen, I'm not arguing with Heather. Uh, I love Heather. Like, we can we can have discussions here. I just want you guys to know that I love the daylights of the Heather. There's nothing wrong with good discussions. And like I said, you guys taught me something. <laughs> Did anyone hear more about other women in Kansas recently? Zena, Dan. You know, somebody sent me a flyer. I have to sit down and think about, you know, try to figure it out. And there might be more, but my mind right now is on these two women. It's been several days. I mean, my gosh, this Saturday coming up, it'll be two weeks. There was a custody hearing coming up. Custody battle, definitely a targeted attack, if you ask me. But that's my opinion. <coughs> okay. Yes. I did share it in Discord today, so they did see it. Hey, we, generic me, we like to be a good crowd, you know, it's just, it's a sad situation, we got two women missing, and, uh, trying to find them, and we're trying to find them alive, and again, I don't think there was much talked about it, and I don't think that, Rock Chalk, not sure if you skipped it, but we, can we do a show looking back on Waco, I did not skip it, and, uh, we we could try to figure that out. That is that is one that Waco gives me really I don't know anxiety. I lost a lot of friends there, but uh, I think I could suck it up to do it. We'll talk about it. We'll plan it. Let's see if we can do it. <clears throat> that was a rough one. I mean, I don't want to scare the daylights out of these people. And maybe it should scare them. Maybe they should see what happens when you got people... <clears throat> when you got people that is claiming to... to be sovereign citizens. They don't agree with the government. They don't want to abide by the laws. I mean, and the rest of us do. When you get people that don't want to abide by the laws... That should scare the hell out of you. Because it would me. Because then what happens? I mean, are you start, do you know what martial law is? Has anybody ever looked up martial law? Because that's what I'd be doing if I was down there. If I have to start protecting myself, you know, at one point, they started talking about maybe a war happening in martial law. You start letting sovereign citizens do what the hell they want, and you might have to start having martial law, too. And then the whole world goes to crap scary to think about I say the world's gone crazy yeah it's so scary everywhere and again I'm gonna say this several times I met the superintendent of Yarborough school super great guy his wife's super nice like but what school in America don't have cameras no more like I hope they hurry up and get some cameras up but I drove that road, and I realized everybody knows each other and all that. But 
no cameras, really, anywhere there. I mean, I couldn't find any cameras at any places, let alone the school. And that, I'm not blaming that. Smith, go lay down. Go. Get out of here. Sorry, Smith is, Smith is throwing a fit. I don't know what his problem is. It's never too late. People are like us. We need to talk about it and get it all out. I agree. Oh, I, you know, I'm the only one that can highlight names. I believe I don't know how to set it up for somebody else. Oops. I hit the button. I might skip. I might skip too far. Okay. Yes. To the wrenches out there, the, the team, thanks for being here, Joanne, everybody. Glad to have everybody here. Generic me, <clears throat> we got you. Keep learning. We got you. I don't think I'm really far behind in chat, so I'm trying to catch up. Thank you, Mama Sif, Smith. <clears throat> Okay. I have a basic question and truly no offense. Why do the locals do, why don't the locals do search parties? Are they afraid of the nightmare granny? <clears throat> I don't really know. I mean, there was locals that came out and we did do search parties and they were wonderful. We did them for a couple of days. Um, I mean, people's got to work. We had nurses that drove three hours. And the other thing is, is there's a lot of area to search. I mean, and we really don't know what happened. I think, actually, is what's going on. Like, was the car planted? Did they ever make it to four cor or four, to the four corners? Were they thrown off track to go somewhere else? Did they go to Granny's to try to pick the kids up? I mean... I think plans changed. I think the plans was changed on Veronica and Jillian. That's my opinion. I think the plans changed and somewhere along the line, somebody didn't know if the plans changed. <clears throat> and maybe they were ambushed. I find it really hard to believe that Granny can go to court and tell a judge, if you take these children from me, bodies will drop. And go to Melanie's channel. Go to the other channels. It's in the court document. If I was to tell a judge, you take my grandkids from me and bodies are going to drop, I'm going to end up body dropping in jail. Like, I'm going to get me a pretty pair of handcuffs and they're just going to walk me right over to the jail if I said something like that. It's not a heart, it's the at. Yeah. I'm gonna, or maybe I misunderstood that. That's okay. Only 37 watching. We're new, so we are trying to get in there for the people who want it. That's right. We love Eric P. Meet Grana. <laughs> Eric's the best. Okay. Do you know at Rock Chalk if either of the missing women had OnStar iPhones or Fitbits? They probably had them all. The way I understood it is the only thing that was in the car was some broken sunglasses. I don't think their phones were found. I don't think their purses were found. And that could be being held held from me. But I, I talked to the mom. I talked to the grandma. I mean, that would be something for Ellie to, to really say. As far as I know... 
the only thing that was in the car was some kitty litter and it looked like blood and some broken sunglasses. Now that was rumor. It didn't come from LE. And so I want to throw that out there that it could be my opinion because that's what was was stopped. Yeah, I do want to bring this up. Anyone notice at Drew be a boss of showing up once Rock Chalk realized she was being set up? Yeah, it's kind of a weird deal. And and he started the night of, and you know hopefully he can come back and explain himself. But the night that I got there, I really wanted to go to see where the car was. And he insisted that it was on the right side of the road and I needed to stay there. And thank God for a local there that came and got me, her and her daughter, and took me exactly where the car was. I mean, was I'm not blaming it on anybody, but was I being set up from night one? Like, was they going to try to do something to me? I don't know. Wait a minute. In the panhandle, there was two murders at the car wash there this morning. Chastity, we're at the car wash. What did I miss? Could you please drop that again? Because that is the panhandle. We're at the panhandle. Was, was these murders at the car wash this morning? That's horrible. That's the other thing. You know, our car washes in town and everywhere here they have cameras up so you have somebody that sent me an email <clears throat> with screenshots showing the butcher sells beef ground beef a quarter side of beef and a half side of beef or full side of beef mm. I have to look that look at that for sure. That was a text I just got, so I'll have to go look at it. It's interesting. Anybody that was here last night, you saw that uh there was a lot of discussion about the butcher and why the butcher didn't do didn't allow USDA to come in and do an inspect inspection. Let's see here. I see something with my name at it. Let's see here. I like that you're ex le and you remind me of a lady, Lorenzo Lamamas from Renegade. I'm down for it. Says thanks. You know, I told my husband I'm a big Yellowstone person. I want to be Beth. She's one bad bitch. I like Beth. Don't take no shit. Yes, certain accounts were sending me the wrong direction, and certain accounts were. I love going live. That's what sucked about it. Is I really loved going live and loved you guys seeing exactly where I was and what was going on. But you know, if you were in chat and you saw the stuff that. I could shoot you from a mile away. It's crazy. <clears throat> you are that person at Rock. You have the community voices. You were there, made yourself available. You're doing so much. I put Mama Smith, I plan on coming back. Like you guys if you guys get any hints or where they could be or you wanna team up and go you know, peacefully protest, as I call it, I'm down. I'll come right back down and stand right with you, side by side with you, and ask for answers. You know, the status of the kids and grandma, I can't answer that. Uh, I, I, I don't like talking about the kids at all, just because I just don't feel comfortable with it. Last I knew, they were still going to school, and Granny was still, still at them. Now, one thing I did find out day before yesterday, and I don't have that document. I was going to ask Melanie about it. But the other grandma told me, the one that's uh, Wrangler's dad's mom, 
and I hope she's listening. If I get it wrong, she lets me know that I got it wrong. But the way I understand it is that Veronica had got to see the kids like two weeks ago, but there was many visits. She was supposed to have them every Saturday, and there was many visits that got canceled for unknown reasons. I can't even begin to guess on the reasons of why they got canceled. But, I mean, she filed for, 10 days earlier, she filed for full custody of her kids. And Granny didn't like it, is what it seems like to me. Yeah. Generic me, don't worry about it. You'll learn. Don't be sorry. We'll get you there. Yeah, this, this is one thing that me and the team was talking about earlier. Many locals stepped up to chat. Many locals, like, everywhere I went, they would come and talk to me. Like, I felt really welcome. Like, I really did. I know a lot of people didn't know how to take me at first. You know, this who's this lady that showed up in town, and she's a, a YouTube type of person, and, and why is she here? And I was there to find the two women. That's still my goal. But it, I found out that a lot of people didn't even know that there was two women missing in that area. And no LE. Like, the women went and found. It was targeted attack. There's foul play. And the women are still missing. And LE's not doing a search. Again, make that make sense. I don't understand it. It's like my husband, you know, when I finally did talk to him, he's like, how's it going? And, you know, are you guys getting the searches done? Who's running the search? And I'm like, me. And he was like, what? You mean LA's not, they don't got anything going? No, they had nothing going. Why? Why did they not have anything going? What do they know? Like, let's get, let's get it in gear. At least give us something. Okay, yes, the murders happened on 4 11 24. Oh, look what they say. I don't even want to say this. Mm. Let me just say day. I've lost track of days. When you're just, okay, today's April 12th, Friday. So that would have been Thursday. It's posted in a word or word online paper. Also, a murder suicide and ordered on Wednesday. 14, 24, ex-husband shot ex-wife, then himself. What? Now you got me concerned. I've got to go look up that. I'm going to screenshot that so I can look that up when I get off of here. Because, I mean, I haven't heard anything from my cousin, but she does have an ex-husband. She just got remarried. But it's not that big. So we have two killed at it. Oh, I have two killed at a, at a car wash and a homicide, suicide type of situation. Whoa. Okay. I keep hitting the same button. Sorry. Okay. Bruce Monkey Rogue Looney. Glad to be here. I am in Mead around Lies or so from the area of Interstate 80. Glad to have you, Bruce. I hope you enjoy, and I'm, I'm glad that you're in the chat and that you're talking. That's great. Okay. Must clarify Four Corners is a region to me, not the shutdown restaurant. Oh, okay. Okay. I get you. Thank you. Because when I say Four Corners, that's where they were supposed to meet. And that was the gas station, the broken down gas station. Yeah, I get it. Thank you for clarifying that. Because I, like, I was like, I was there. What's that? Impressive pass. Okay. Mm. That's my favorite word. F around and find out. I always say that. Okay. 
Oh my god, it generic me. I'm so sorry. Rock Chuck, I made an error. We have to unhide. Ooh, where's that at? Dear crime. I don't even know where that's at. To unhide it. I don't see it. Didn't show me that it was hidden. Uh. Dang it. For some reason on the computer, I don't see where you hit it. Heather's down to watch a, a documentary on Waco. We can do it. Oh. So those of you that don't know, I've said it before, but at the time, my husband, I have an ex-husband, 33 years, U.S. Marshal. He actually arrested Timothy McVeigh it was the one on all the pictures. It was just a sad day. Sad day for Oklahoma. We lost a lot of friends there, too. All the wonderful children that was in the child care at the bottom of the building. Oh, my gosh. I keep forgetting that, that April is coming up. Yes, Prairie Sage is wonderful. <clears throat> Very wonderful woman. Everybody in here is wonderful. Like, every once in a while we get a troll. Every once in a while we get somebody that just kind of misspeaks and we just erase the comment. And then every once in a while we just get people that come in here that just want to get kicked out. So, excuse me, Miss Peter Adventures. I've just found your in the chat's business. Please do one quickly. I don't want to have to drop a house on you. Much love. Yes, thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. You know, <clears throat> he, he's part of the sovereign society, so I don't know. Why did he go from being active and and doing things in the public and now that? Agree, Ashley. It should be talked about. People need to know. Yeah, I, I'm down to watch the Waco things, and we could set it up. Let's see here, Rock Chalk. Were you involved in LA with this Waco case? Okay, with the Waco case, I had several friends that was ATF that was there. A couple of them passed away, but at the time, my husband was a U.S. Marshal, and they sent all federal agencies down there. Yeah, so your God Poppy worked for the FBI, was there. My husband at the time that I have children with, what, what, he's a retired U.S. Marshal of 33 years. He was there. Sorry, Rock Chalk and Mods. I have absolutely no idea where that came from. Blinking trolls, man. You make me want to eat my own hair. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, I know Rock Chuck put out there the butcher's info for the rumors the locals told her. Yes. Well, and then, I mean, let's not for, forget Tristan Cook last night. You know, she made it a point to come in here and say that he used to be a public butcher and now he's private and FDA came there to do an inspection and he would not allow him on the property for personal reasons. That was the exact comment that was made last night for personal reasons. And I never understood the personal reasons thing. So, okay. Waco was sad. And I never, ever want to see another Waco incident. And in my opinion, what's going on down there, it's sad. It's in Oklahoma. 
what you got going on there in Oklahoma is sad to me because it looks like they're they're taking over a lot of land down there. They got a lot of money and they don't want to abide by the government. So it's like anything else, you allow it in your area, it's just going to keep moving and moving. And I'll say the same thing about the border. You know, I, I we're, most of us are immigrants, unless you're Native American. Smith, go. Unless you're Native American. And I don't mind people being here legally, but, you know, it's not Mexicans that's coming across the border. They've caught terrorists. They've caught some of the top ten. They're catching all that fentanyl. I mean, there was, what, 13 people that was turkey, young men. And what is going on with our, with our borders? And I think it's just Texas. I mean, every state, you got, you got the problem. Because they're, they're putting these people, these people that's coming across the border, they're putting them in, in uh, buses and just moving them all over. Heather, I love your knowledge, and I, I love I love talking. I love discussion. You know how much I care about you. Secret Service agents may be doing the investigation into something else they've done threats to the president. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see here. Yeah, that's true. I saw that that person had the same name as the butcher from last night. That's why I continue to just let her keep talking. Usually it's a blank measuring contest because someone is in lower ranks doesn't want to ask for help. I personally think that's pretty typical for small towns, just in my opinion, but correct places too. I agree. <coughs> I'll never forget Tristan Cook, and I knew who she was when she was here last night. Okay. Did they ever meet the grandma to see the kids? You know, rumor has it, and I can't prove it, so I'm just going to tell you that YouTube is entertainment purposes and all that other stuff. And this is something I was told. But I was told that the kids was never there to be picked up. And that there was a babysitter. And so the, ba the babysitter was a like a teenage girl. <clears throat> I think you'll find out more out about that babysitter in the near future. <clears throat> I've only heard rumors. It's nothing that I can verify. But hopefully that the teenage girl I know a little bit more, but I'm not inclined to tell you right yet because I don't want to be spreading false rumors. But it is rumored that the kids wasn't even there. They was somewhere else with the babysitter. So Rumors as rumors may be, that was a rumor that was out there that I, I don't I have a problem saying that. Because <clears throat> after listening to what Granny might do and things Granny said, well, I find that that can be like, likely, likely. Also, just my opinion, but I was telling Melanie the other day that Grandma reminds me of Jim from Sunset. Yeah, it's true. Lankers. Get it. I know we just do the whole shake of the head thing, but you're right, babes. They're so blinking everywhere right now. Surely someone is playing the pesky little devils. Now, the thing is, is, is 
we're in here trying to trying to discuss with the locals and 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 the several people. We always have good chats, and we want to find these two missing women. I mean, that's gonna keep being the thing. Do we have to be a member to be able to watch all the videos you had? I went to your channel for Melly's and saved it, but now I don't see Riz. Okay, this is what happened. So I did a lot of lives, and I would have people come back and say, Rock, you know, my voice was in your live, and I'm scared somebody's going to recognize my voice. I didn't have my laptop there, so to save that person, I just put it private. The videos are still there. I just need to go in and edit them. Um, I'm back to my computer now. I need to figure out how to ed edit them. Edit them. These people that are really scared and are upset. I'm not trying to trying to throw anybody out there under the bus. I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. You know, at the end of the day, I don't live there. I'm obviously back home. I definitely don't want to cross any problems for anybody that was around me. They tried to help me, and so that's why they're private. Now, um, you know, I'd said from the other live, I'd said that there was a great IT person that offered to loan me a computer, and then somebody told me, oh, you shouldn't have said that. They want that private, and I was okay with that, so I made it private. Well, now that person said, I mean, the person that did loan me the computer said, oh, go open that back up so they can see it. So that one's going to open back up. But until I can go through these and and do things, I don't want to leave any locals out there that maybe walked in front of the camera by accident or something like that and hit me up and asked me to remove it. It is. It is what it is. So... Let's see, Tammy Adams was Granny Unhinged. Oh, wow. You know, you know something is kind of crazy because many people in that area went to school with her and they said Granny. They went to school with Granny. I'll probably never hear a side story. They used to say, they said she used to be all right. I mean, there's like five daughters, like, and three of the sisters don't talk at all, and only two of the sisters get along, like, out of that whole family. It's, it's kind of weird. And it, again, it's stories I've heard from the locals, so I don't know that Granny was always that person, but maybe, I don't know. I mean, I mean, if you go back and look at the court paperwork, Granny didn't even want her own son. There was a complaint that she wasn't even letting her own son see the grandkids. So it's almost like Granny took the grandkids over and they were hers and the parents couldn't see them. I don't know. I'm so glad you made it home safely. I have to go to bed and work tomorrow, so I'm going to jump off. Thanks, Mama Smith. We always love having you. Did they ever meet the grandma with the deceased kids? No, nope. again, I don't think the kids were ever there. They was with the babysitter. Here's a local. I grew up in Keys, Oklahoma, and the granny was a grade behind me, plus... I also went to school in the Plainview School. I live just about a couple of miles east of where Granny lives. This is insane. So, Tammy Adams, did you know? Of course, my mind is going blank, but I a little bit because I'm tired. But did you go to school with um, Marcus Spinoza, the under sheriff there in um, Elkhart? Because I think he went to Keys. If I remember right, I, I, I could be wrong. I thought he told me that. 
and I could have misunderstood. And I just loved the daylights out of him. Just met him and loved the daylights out of him. Wait, I am behind. I see uh old Van Skeeter just got must have made some really comments and had to be removed. Well, I just don't understand people. If you don't like a channel, why even go in there and cause problems? Just leave. It's real easy. There's plenty of channels out there. Then they come in causing chaos, but we got the best snipers around. The mods are pretty good. So you can see, I didn't even I I didn't even see it. Yeah, I heard she used to be like a really all right person. Very good in sports, nice. Heads up, Rock Shock. If anyone is trolling you and you want their IP for a block, hey, hey, we might need to add you to the team. We get trolls, it does happen. Oh. And you, you might be able to teach me some things there. She was a nice person. I mean, she sounds like she's made of makes money. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to make sure I can get into all these comments. Oh, we got other third shifters. Nice. We got a lot of third shifters that work. So this was one of them things that. I was real late getting home. Yes, yeah, she always seemed to have it all. Friends, good family, lots of support. Too bad marriage was up. You know, I also heard that she was really close to her dad, and when her dad passed away, she changed Tammy. I don't know if that's true, but I had heard that from several people that know her. And, and I can get that. I mean, gosh, I lost my father, and it. Ooh, I think about it all the time. It can educate. It can change a person. Yeah, a lot of people know Granny. Uh, everybody talks about war, for sure. Fortunately, I think this area of the county is far too used to the fundamentals and anti-government types. You know, I was sent some articles today, and I actually think it was my husband that sent them. That for a long time, like, there was all kinds of groups that tried to move in, uh, Boise, Boys City seems to be a lot, a lot of stuff that, uh, a lot of, a lot of different kind of anti-government type of people that don't want to believe in the government did, you know, tried to move to that Boys City. I'm surprised she isn't defending herself. The tip I knew would not sit back silently while people are accusing were accusing her. Well you know I can see that both ways. I mean she you think about it, she is somebody that is very would be very much a person of interest. If you go to court and the judge orders, you know, she you tell the judge one time that if you give then the kids' bodies are going to drop. That's in the court paperwork. And then you're ordered to bring the kids to court on March 4th. And you don't show up or the kids. How many people can get away with that? I don't know. No camera suspect, but everything I've read about these areas sounds like they are just super resistant to any change culturally. I, I kind of felt like they're, they're farmers and they farm their land and you don't bother me, I don't bother you type of thing.
Everybody definitely knows everybody there. Seems to be. Curly, how do you know that? What do you think a sovereign citizen is? I'm just curious. There are people that don't believe in the government and they want they don't want to abide by the rules that the rest of us do. I mean, have you been to that area? Or are you? <clears throat> I'm curious. I might be reading your comment wrong, but everything I've seen shows me otherwise. Unless I'm reading your comment wrong. Let's see here. Thank you for caring. The thought of two women just missing it's horrifying. I'm sure the families appreciate you. I sure do. And I'm in Australia. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, I I I believe the parents somebody had said something today that the parents they were told not to talk to media and stuff, but I have a feeling they're fixing to reach out because the way I understand it. I believe that um, I believe that uh, they're not being told anything either. I mean, I'm still congested. That was a lot of dirt. I've been coughing up a lot of dirt. Like I don't want to get into detail of what I'm coughing up, but I definitely got some stuff in my lungs. But I'm back home. I got a nebulizer, and I will go see my doctor because I'm, I'm I am still having a hard time breathing. So, might need a little bit of a CPAC or something, some kind of antibiotic. Could be possible. They took them, they know, they had to know, they'd ID them by the car. Now, that's one thing, you know, it's a new Kia. And it's got a box in it. And, and surely, you know, hey, sometimes the criminals aren't the smartest people in the world. Let's hope they went very smart. Because that that box will tell everywhere that car went. Everywhere it stopped. It'll tell what it what it did that day. And if if they were thrown off track, it'll take it right where they went to. So and again, there is some eyewitnesses as to the area where the car was dropped off. I talked to one of them. They never saw the women. There was no women there. It was only men that took guard. Man, the chat is just, there's so much in chat. You guys are so chatty. I love it. On the news this morning, Freedom of K2 men were murdered. And yes, it is in Oklahoma. And it really didn't listen. I'm focused on the women. Yeah, I'm focused on the women too. I just left there with a heavy heart, but it also I leave there with hope that they could still be alive. But if they're not, I sure hope we find them so that their family has closure. I'm still praying that they're still alive. Boy, how far back am I wrong? How far back am I gone? I'm going to speed up and see how far back I'm gone. Because obviously, absolutely prudent. So I'm not done. The team is not done. We're going to stay on this. Yes, thank you to the locals that welcomed me. Gave me your time. Treated me well. Wait a minute. What?
We definitely, let's see here. Okay. <clears throat> I have <clears throat> I've never given out. I just want to make this clear. Okay, question for Rock Talk. I didn't ask before. Do you think Ellie knows more than what they are letting on? I do. I do because otherwise why wouldn't they be doing a search? I will say this to anybody here. I have protected the locals. I have never given out any names of anybody. If, if, if they've hit me up and they've been in a video and their voice was in the background, that's why that video is private. I think I'm, that message I just got, I don't understand it. And obviously, I'm on the live right now, but I definitely want to talk to you about it. There's so many LA presents here, 10 times more than normal. That is not true, Curly Sue. There was, I mean, when I first got there, there was none. None. Zero. Zilch. About the second or third day in, me asking questions. I started seeing OSBI, and there was a lot, <clears throat> and there was everywhere, but I'm going to tell you, I drove around for eight hours today, eight hours today, in that area, and I did not see one OSMI, or Oklahoma Bureau of Investigations, I didn't see any one of them, other than where the helicopters was, and that was not them. I didn't see any troopers, so I and Rock, believe it or not, every one person who lives here is searching. I do believe that they're searching their own fields, like they've told me that. I had several farmers come up and said, "Listen, I own three hundred acres, and I'm constantly paying attention." But, but as far as usually, when you have somebody missing, you have a command post. And then you have people in groups going and searching. Like, I get it. I get what you're saying. And I will say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to skip down a little bit. I was around a lot today, and I did not see any of that going on. Freedom in Oklahoma. So, I'm going to say this. I've said it before. Anybody in here, if you're using your real name, please change it. You can be doxxed. Another thing in here, you know, this is this this is a a YouTube channel. We're trying to help. We're trying to find these women. Please do not be doxing each other or trying to call each other out. Um, or trying to figure out who each other is. This is a place where you can come and talk and talk about what's going on in the area. Give me some information of how I can help you. My hubby and I went check on wheat fields and we took binoculars to look for unusual landscapes well i mean i tried to put curly sue i tried to put some crews together to go out searching i could have used some extra help there was places i didn't want to go by myself i mean if, if you're checking your own land or whatever i mean good for you we still got two women missing and i personally would have liked to have seen the la set up like a command center and actually be doing searches so i believe you checked your fields i believe you had binoculars i get it 
and I also get people have jobs. So you got you got farms to work on. I get it. I'm not docking you. I just wish there would have been a little bit more availability involved. Okay. Exactly. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, how can you be positive and uplifting when we're talking about murder of families and children daily? That's true. Right now I'm talking about two women that's missing that I pray is alive that we need to find. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, what do we, what did I miss? I'm going to leave it to the mods. They got whatever this is. Excuse the F out of me, but I don't see anything positive and uplifting about this topic. Okay, well, we have two women missing, and maybe I missed you somewhere. Uh, maybe I missed something with you. But we're talking about two women that are missing, and... We were out there looking for them. And that's what this, what we're covering right now. And that's why we're talking to the locals. So if you're not a local, you know what? I'm going to skip this comment. Mods, if you can check on this comment and see what's going on with this right here, please. Because I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. The thing is, to the lady who I had to ask to leave, we can still come together as a community. Okay, looks like the mods already had it handled, so I'm still trying to get to the bottom. I'm going to keep going. Again, we don't want negativity in here. We're just trying to talk about things that's going on. And we're trying to find these two missing ladies. Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. And then we got people that come in here just being silly. Okay. How far down do I gotta go? It looks like I've missed a lot. So I'm gonna scoot on down and see here. You're right. Maria, you're right. You're absolutely right. I didn't realize how many people was in here for so for it being so late. Yes. Nani, you don't have to be a local here. We're trying to get awareness out. Okay. And uh, there's two women missing and we're trying to find them. They were from Kansas, and they're missing in Oklahoma. There's been a child custody battle going on. You're welcome to stay here. These people that want to try to make things difficult, like, yeah, we're not down for it. I didn't realize there were so many. So I'm fixing to close the show, so if there's something I miss. Because I'm skipping down. That was really important. Well, we do have locals in here. And if you know another local in here, we will not tolerate any bickering back and forth or threatening back and forth in here. I don't see any of that happening right now. But just so you know, everybody's welcome in here. We don't want doxing. If you're using your real name, please change it immediately. YouTube can be really crazy. It's really easy to change your name. With that said, it's 
we've been on here late enough. I'm going to try to do a live tomorrow. Uh, work around the mods. Because, I listen, the mods don't have to be here. But they, they want to be here. This is their channel, too. So I try to work around them so that they can be here. So with, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and just know we have not given up on you. Maybe we'll do another live where locals can call in. I've still got, I'm still figuring out this Android phone. I see I've got lots of messages on there that I really got to go through. And, and keep, keep caught up. Just know I have not given up on you at all. And we're going to keep, see, I'm, I'm looking at this phone. If I can see some of it. When will you go live today? When will you go to live today? I've been watching for you to go live today. Good morning. I mean, there's just a lot. I'm learning the phone. I'll get to it. With that said, we're we're gonna we're gonna close the show down. It's late. It's three twenty one a.m. and I have not taken a bath yet. So, uh, but I wanted to get on here and let everybody know I made it home okay. Not giving up on you, and we're just gonna keep on trucking, and we're gonna keep on pushing. And listen, believe it or not, I had several friends hit me up from high school that are truckers, and they was they recognized my voice on channel on the news station, and they said, "Rock, we're ready to rock and roll, and we're we're truckers. They're truckers, and they'll come deep." So, I mean, if that's what we got to do, and we'll do it. We'll we'll set it up. We'll get it done. That was something I didn't think about. Eastbound down, load them up and truck them. We're gonna be westbound and down, load them up and truck them. We're gonna do what they say can't be done. That said, hands to all the mods because I know you. I know we had a lot of trolls in here. We had a lot of people that just came in here just to cause problems. Um, Cameron, thank you. Take care. Rocking everyone. Oh, my CB talk. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking about my friends that are truckers. They're like, we'll come deep. We'll load up and we'll go. So I'm all about it. So everybody take care. If you want to continue to watch this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe and hit the bell button. Because what that does is that lets you know when I go live. I will try my best. I'll probably catch up on some sleep. And I will go through and edit. I've never edited any videos. I'll be honest. I try to go edit the, the lives that I did. And take out the locals that their names. Not their names was used. Because I would never use names. But their voices in the background. That somebody might have heard. There's a reason why every one of them is. Because somebody reached out to me. And heard their voice in it. Or walked in front of the camera. or I tried to. Take your privacy the best I can. So with that said, I'm definitely going to try to get on them and get them back up. They're not gone forever. They're just private. And we'll get them back up there for you guys to see. And the only reason they're down is obviously I've been out looking for these women. I've been away from my computer. And when somebody comes to me with a concern about their safety, I'm going to take their safety first. Thank you, everyone. We are praying for Jillian and Veronica, their family. We're going to do everything that we can to help. And again, I have not left you, and I'm not going to shut up. I, have, I was just telling some people tonight, you know, maybe I'll go to my legislator. I There's a lot I can do, too. I'm in Kansas. <coughs> These women were in, from Kansas. I have a home in, in in Colorado. I have a home in Oklahoma. <coughs> Talking about it, sharing it, getting it known out there. Sorry, I got a really bad itch in my throat. We're talking about it. We're sharing it. If you know of a place that needs search, let me know. We'll get somebody there to search it. Back to the people that you say you're searching your own land and you're doing your binoculars. Thank you. Thank you for searching your own land. If they if they if they get a committee together to search, know where to search, you have the time to go search, please do that. 
So as far as that goes, we are out of here. And I hope you guys have a good morning. And again, we'll see you soon. Much love.